Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing, enjoying your weekend. Let's get these cards pulled for you. You and them, what's going on between you and your person? Love reading for Gemini. All right, let's see. What is the connecting energy in the relationship? We have the full, I done bit my card all up y'all. Okay, Aquarius energy. How are you feeling? You want a reconciliation? Gemini Cancer energy came out. You could be on the cusp. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Hmm, yeah. So there could be some tension going on between you two, some animosity. It could be an Aries person. There's this feeling of like not belonging. Okay, and how are they feeling about you? You could even feel like they're a false twin flame. Wow, they're heartbroken too. You two are in pain and it looks like you want to be together, but neither one of you are really like doing anything about it. Could be a Libra person. Hmm. You may feel like this person is not much of a team player. Maybe they feel like you betrayed them. You hurt them with something that you said because the Knight of, um, Knight of Swords did come out with the Three of Cups. Maybe they feel like you have to be the one to make the movie because you said something they didn't like. What's the obstacle between you two? The lovers. Yeah, there's definitely disharmony here. You could have broken up. Could have been three weeks ago, four days ago, something happened. Okay, what's the best course of action? Your advice from spirit. The king of wands. They're going to come to you. I mean, if you wrong them, then you need to be the one to take action here. This is about leading by example. Spirit could be telling you here, put your pride to the side and try to operate from more place of love. You know, the King of Wands is very warm hearted. Um, this is a card of impulsivity, though. I feel like this is like a spontaneous um, action this person takes towards you. And it could be a Leo. It doesn't have to be. What's the outcome over the next three to six months? Did I do that right, y'all? Nope, I did. Yeah. Okay, so we have the two of pentacles. Hmm, Capricorn energy. And their message to you in tarot. What do they want to say? Four of cups. Somebody else got this card in the same spot. Cancer energy. I'm hearing laws without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? Somebody is lost without you. Hmm. Could be a Pisces, Cancer. So it looks like your outcome over the next three to six months is y'all figuring something out here. Trying to find balance because they feel lost without you. Okay, so let's get into this energy of the fool as the overall energy. Why is that here? This usually talks about a new start and it looks like somebody is coming back your way. Taking a leap of faith in your direction. You know what? I'm going to, I just feel like I need to just pull. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. And Gemini, you came out very heavily in their, um, their reading. So if you are connected to a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart, go check out that read. Um, this is a possibly a Virgo person, somebody that you work with for some of you, or somebody just wants to work on it. They want to slowly build this relationship back up. I feel like this could be a marriage that's in separation, a couple in separation that's married. You don't have to be, but I'm seeing a lot of cards here that suggest you might be married to this person. If you're not, maybe you live with them, maybe they moved out, something happened here because you're not happy with this person. You're in the four of wands in reverse. So you could even be feeling like they are false twin flame. Okay. But they want to work on it. Okay, the two of cups. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a married couple here. So even though you do see them as someone that maybe pissed you off. <laughs> and there's definitely tension. There's definitely animosity. There's definitely like, I just heard trust issues between you two. You still love them. Cancer energy. You could be on the Cancer Gemini cusp. Is it Gemini Cancer? Y'all, I can never get it right. Gemini Cancer cusp. So you still care about this person. The feelings are mutual between the two of you, but I feel like it feels like you're more stubborn than them, but they are stubborn too. Don't get me wrong. So Spirit, show me how this person is feeling. Why are they in the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands? Because look, you can have Aries in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aries. Your person wants to see you. They want to be around you. They want to make love to you. They want to be close to you. They're so attracted to you. 
they miss confiding in you. They miss having you as their best friend, their lover, their support system. It's like things that they could talk to you about. They can't talk to anybody else about. And it's really killing them that they can't talk to you. But they could talk to you. They just have to be the one to take action. But I feel like it almost seems to me like they feel like you need to come forward. But you're not going to. I don't see that happening. I don't. So the obstacle is the lovers with the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Some of y'all dealing with another um, mercurial, mercurian, whatever you call it. Another mercury, um, you know, person ruled by mercury. So it could be another Gemini or it's another Virgo for some of you. Some kind of illusion, some kind of, some games have been played here. Some mind games, some brainwashing, something has gone on in regards to a, maybe another connection. Or you two just haven't been able to manifest a marriage or a very serious commitment. Hmm. I, I just heard this person spies on you. Especially if you know your person is into IT or something like that. Because the fool is here and the fool is definitely somebody who's very tech savvy. Like a, like a natural born genius. They're extremely smart. And the magician as a challenge can be somebody who works in IT or something who's like tapping into your devices and things like that watching you. I don't know. If you know your person is into that or they have access to someone who could do those things, they could be definitely spying on you. Because this is a hacker as a challenge. It's masculine energy. What's the lovers and the magician? I want to understand this obstacle. Yeah, the Knight of Wands here. You could be dealing with someone who um, the magician can be a player and the Knight of Wands is a player with the lovers being here. For some of you, your person just like to entertain other people. They might just keep it at the physical level, but yeah, they like to entertain other people. They can even be acknowledging that this Queen of Wands is outside of your union because the Queen of Wands can be a concubine. So they could be an Aries in your person's energy. Your person could be a Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo. Your advice is the King of Wands. Let them come to you. It looks like they are too. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. I mean, you're dealing with a Leo, you have Leo in your chart. So your advice is, <laughs> I don't even know if I should call this advice, your message here. When it talks about the best course of action, let them come to you. Obviously, let them come to you. I already said that. But the Seven of Wands in reverse can talk about somebody with very weak boundaries, okay? Not having the courage of your convictions, not standing your ground, um, being really worn out. I feel like this person is coming on so strong that you just can't resist them because they are fine. The King of Wands is, is very fine. He's very attractive, sexy, all of that, right? Charming, charismatic. And this is going to break your walls down because they're coming towards you very passionately. They always been passionate about you because the Knight of Wands is here. Very passionate towards you. But I do feel like in the past, I'm glad that they have gone from the Knight of Wands to the King because that means they've grown some. And this is somebody that has long-term intentions, like sees a future with you. And whatever they're talking about when they come back, it feels so good. It sounds so good. It's just like your clothes fall off. And this is your counterpart. I just realized. Or this could be that they are married to someone already. Because these two are counterparts. There's so much physical attraction between you two. Like the feeling is mutual between you two. Don't ever doubt that. That will come over the next three to six months of you two figuring it out. The Hierophant in reverse. You know, um, this is Taurus energy. So I'm going to tell you like this. I don't know if this will work for you, Gemini. And I don't know if it's your energy or their energy. But there's somebody here who likes to keep their options open. There's somebody here who doesn't want like a traditional relationship. That might be why the Four of Wands is in reverse. Like somebody doesn't want to be married. They may not even want to live together, but they still the feelings are still there. And it could be you because this is showing up in your column. So there's like a non-committal energy here, but it's more about marching to the beat of your own drum. Okay, this is being cut from a different cloth. Like somebody here who kind of does things their own way. It's about freedom. It's rebellion. And you do have the fool, which is a very rebellious card. Your person has a different, or you, I don't know which one of you it is. Um, it could be a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn or is your energy. Um, this person feels like they want to find a way to have 
their idea of what marriage is, their idea of what a relationship is, and it's not traditional. They don't want a con conventional relationship, but they do want long term with you. So this could be somebody who might want to put you in a polygamous relationship, an open relationship. And that doesn't mean that they won't love you and be there for you if that works for you. Because I'm not going to judge that because I don't believe that monogamy is natural. I don't I'm be honest with y'all. Now it's natural for me because I like being with one person. But I don't think it's a natural thing for human beings. Just because you have to think about it. We change. We evolve. We grow. We outgrow people. Sometimes you're with someone and it feels right. And then it stops feeling right. And I, I reserve the right. I always tell people, if I change my mind, I just change my mind. And it's not going to be flippant, but if I change my mind, I change my mind. And so some of you have that same thing within yourself where you're, you're dealing with someone who is, yeah, it could be a Taurus because I am a Taurus and that's definitely how I feel. I'm, I'm more the Hierophant in reverse than I am upright. <laughs> yeah, but this person may not want a traditional kind of marriage, but they do want forever with you. They do. I don't think it's always been that way. I think that they have felt in the past like they could kind of rip and run whatever but now they want to be honest about it like this is the kind of person that will sit down and talk to you 11 11 on a timer this is your twin flame but look they're going to have a conversation with you or they may already have had a conversation with you where they said are you open to me being with other people are you open with me um having another wife or husband or whatever mm-hmm it's a very unconventional person. Okay, so let's see what the Four of Cups is when it comes to their message to you. The Eight of Swords comes out. Didn't this try to come out earlier? I think it did. Gemini energy. You feel stuck on this person. They feel stuck on you. Some of you may be giving second thoughts. If you said no, that you didn't want this open relationship or they said no, somebody might be giving that second thought. Because somebody might be realizing that, you know, I'm just going to keep my emotions at bay and look at this from a logical standpoint. A Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, another Gemini, or a Cancer. You know, I had this conversation a couple of days ago with my cousin about people who are into polygamous, um, polyamorous, whatever you call it, relationships. And I don't judge it. It's not for me, but I don't judge it because I do feel like... Um, and I have been asked to be in these kind of relationships before, not with anybody I was serious with, mm -mm. but like, you know, people who feel like they, they want you, but they still want to, they want to leave that door open for them to be able to, I guess it's a matter of trust. And like I said here, they feel like you don't judge them or either you feel this way about them. This is showing up in their column though, because the queen of wands is someone who doesn't pass judgment on anyone. She's very free spirited. She is open-minded. She might be the kind of person who will say, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm self-sufficient, independent. I don't really care what you do, right? Just don't, don't hurt me. Don't bring anything home to me. Don't, you know, and the thing is for me, that's the reason why it's a no, because I mean, it's a, a number of reasons, but one of the reasons is you can't protect me by being with other people. Okay, let me not judge it. I'm not judging it. I, I really don't care what other people do. You're grown. But I, I feel like your person doesn't want to lie. And for the people who have asked me that, that's what it was. I was such a confidant. I was such a, um, I wasn't as emotionally invested in them as I would be with like the person I'm with now or my long-term relationships. But I still was like, no, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that could be the thing that's going on here. Let's get messages from them to you. I don't know which one of y'all is non-committal, but somebody is. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm seeing the synchronicities. It's driving me insane. This was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. I'm telling you, this, this player energy. So they're trying to get control over it. So maybe in the past, they just wanted to sleep with whomever. But now it's like, okay, I want to be with you and one other person. And you're both going to know about each other. That could be your energy or theirs, y'all. And then, mm, yeah, I'm about to say something, but I'm just keeping it to myself. Let's get one more card. I didn't feel like I was on your level. You're a boss and I'm very insecure. Interesting. But they could be seeing you as a boss, as the Queen of Wands. She's definitely a boss. I miss making love to you. I will do anything just to hold you again. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely seeing some cards, some intimacy cards on this table. You are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. I only want you. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. The grass wasn't greener. I regret my actions. I'm a fool. That could be why they're coming back here. But I feel like that's like playing around. I do still feel this person wants to have one other person at least. I do. 
I mean, somebody could be trying to figure out if they want to give up this life, okay? Maybe they're ready to give it up because the Hierophant in reverse with the Two of Pentacles, they could be going back and forth. Like, you know, do I want to keep juggling people or do I just want to settle down with, uh, with Gemini? Or that could be you feeling this way. Somebody's weighing their options, weighing the pros and cons right now about this very unconventional way they've been living. They could be getting bored with it. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.